Hey what's up, hello, welcome to it, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and my face is looking very red right now. <laughs> Apologies for this lighting, it is currently 19 minutes past 7 and the sun sets way too early now for me to be able to film this with natural lighting. So we are going to put up with this for the moment. Basically, this video, I didn't have a video idea for this week. And I was like, no, I can't just forfeit this week. I need, no, I need to like give this my best shot. So I was thinking and thinking and thinking. And I was like, hey, I'm going to give you guys some advice. Even though... <laughs> This is like literally the worst idea I've ever had. Even though I am most certainly not a counsellor, so don't, don't take anything that I say too seriously. And I am not qualified to say anything that I'm about to say, but hey, take from it what you will. And let's just get straight into these... I don't even know what I'm going to call this, eh? Straight into me giving you guys trash advice. Let's go. So I chucked a thing on my story, looks kind of like this. So I just said, tell me a situation on the little card thingy. I'm starting correspondence and I'm kind of nervous because my teacher is kind of odd. Like, to me, he's a bit weird and I don't like him that much. And he's coming around to my house. Got any advice to cope with nerves? Depends on what sort of weird you're talking about. If you feel uncomfortable around them, then that's a whole different situation. And I, honestly, I wouldn't try and cope with that. I would just ask to swap teachers if that's possible. Because especially if they come into your house, you need to make sure you're feeling comfortable. I mean, I've obviously never done correspondence, but I feel like if I had a teacher come around to my house and I didn't feel comfortable in their presence, then I wouldn't be concentrating. I wouldn't be learning anything. I don't know how helpful that was, but I don't think any of this advice is going to be helpful. My best friend and I have grown apart and I'm trying to keep our friendship together, but it seems like she's not making the effort to do the same if they're not making the effort for you don't make the effort for them i've learned this with some friendships and honestly if someone isn't willing to put an effort for you then don't waste your time trying to put an effort for them boys so confusing oh my god like how do you know if they like you <laughs> uh, i'm not one to speak on this i'm in my first relationship and he slipped into my chat so i can't really help you with that one sorry love i need a job write a cv and take it to somewhere where you want a job and if they like your cv or they think you've got potential they will hire you if you're sitting on your ass not writing a cv not handing it in then don't expect the job to grow two feet and run to you time management i'm struggling to fit in social life gym and study and family time so i had this struggle last year not that i've ever had a social life but last year when i was trying to juggle the same so social life gym study family time as well as work i would allocate time for each so say the monday tuesday wednesday i had school and work so i'd go to school work come home do a 45 minute workout go downstairs have dinner talk with the family for a little bit come back to my room do my homework and then social stuff i would probably leave to the weekend because then you can work through the week get all your work done and then have time in the weekend to just chill out and do whatever you want i'm having lots of anxiety attacks more often and i'm not sure how to stop them oh, have you come to the right place for that. I have been through some pretty rough times with anxiety. I'm not diagnosed with it, but I definitely have had some serious problems with it. I went through a stage where I was having anxiety attacks just about every single day and it was getting bad. But I think it's kind of, for me, it was just something that I grew out of. It kind of goes through stages for me. I mean, I had troubles in year like five, year eight, year nine, year 11, and a bit of year 12 as well. I don't know. I feel like it's just like a confidence thing for me at least. But definitely just remember that everything's okay. I, I say this to myself and it doesn't always work, but just take time to breathe and remember that it's in your head and you have control over your own thoughts to an extent. I mean, I know that obviously anxiety like does overrule that, but just remember that you are your own body, you are your own person. And just remember to take a deep breath and you will be fine. I know that definitely is hard for that to sink in when you are not in the best of places. NCA in general, lol. <laughs> yeah, lol. Um, just manage your time effectively and allow time to do what you need to do to get the marks that you want. And if you are stuck on something, ask the teacher. Like, they are there to help you. They're getting paid to help you. They want... Well, do they want to help you? I don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean. So there's this guy I like and I think he likes me too. So advice, yeah. <laughs> see, I can see who said this and I really want you guys to be a thing. Probably generally, like, good things take time, okay? <laughs> and just be honest about your feelings and have a conversation talking is a very good strategy i've been so stressed out about everything recently rough times you go through they're not happening to you they're happening for you oh my gosh i'm sorry i'm gonna botch this i have scoliosis surgery in a few weeks and i know i'm going to get really nervous because i've never had surgery before well i have had surgery before i was 15 when i had it and i had a i'll insert a photo here it is a lump that i got removed from my shin because it was sitting on top of the bone and it was like moving 
it was disgusting. I'll put a video in here. And they're worried it was cancerous. They took a biopsy, an MRI, and an X-ray, and it wasn't, which is great. But then they decided to remove it anyway because it was it didn't need to be there. I was only under for like 30 minutes for that surgery, which wasn't that bad. But I was so scared going into it. Like when they went to put me under and they had the mask thing on me, I was so scared and I was crying and like everything was all congested. So they had to put like a thing on my arm to sedate me. And I was so, so scared. And I made my mum like come into the theatre and everything. But honestly, it is fine. Like once you're under your little, obviously you feel nothing. How to not procrastinate because I'm literally falling behind so much. Just remove anything that distracts you from doing what you need to do. And I find when I'm trying to do something productive, if it's like stuff that requires my brain, I find that music really distracts me. And also remember that once it's done, then you have free time without the stress. Whereas if you are procrastinating, you've got this like free time, but you're worrying about what you have to do. I like this guy and he told me that he liked me. We kind of had a thing, but now he has a girlfriend. You know, he is not worth your time. If he's gonna lie and dog you like that, then no, he is not worth your time. Okay, so I like this boy and he likes me and we had a thing for like almost two years and we kind of act like boyfriend and girlfriend but have no labels, so yeah. If you want a label, then talk to them about it. I mean, if you're acting like boyfriend and girlfriend, like two years is a long time. That is a very long time. But no, definitely talk to them and be like, yo, like, what, what's the deal here? What's your advice on finding friends at a new school? I'm really struggling, love you. Love you too. And I've never been to like a new school. Like when I've changed school, it's been because I've finished at that school and moved on to the next one. But I would just say be yourself. Like just be yourself and your friends will come to you because you'll attract people who have like similar personalities to you. And I thought that would be the easiest way to do it because then you'll make real like true friends. Worried about starting NCEA. Don't worry about it because it's not that hard. It's more just that it's more like official. So you do have to try obviously to get good grades if that is the way that you are inclined. Pressure to drink. That's a that's an interesting one actually. I don't drink. That is by choice because I just don't see the point in it. And I know that's probably quite a naive approach. Everyone's gonna be like, <laughs> you're such a loser. But no, I honestly don't see the point in going out and drinking and then not being able to remember what you've done. I know obviously that's not the same for everyone, but I just, uh, the thing I hate is when you wake up and you open up Snapchat and all you see is just everyone off their face. That is, it breaks my heart. It honestly does. Even like complete strangers, it breaks my heart. And I know obviously they don't see it that way because they're having a jolly good time. But don't give in, if it's something that you don't want to do, don't feel that you have to given to what everyone else is doing because that's not staying true to who you are. All of my best friends have gone to boarding school and I'm having a hard time finding new friends. Just be yourself and your friends will come to you. Boyfriend moved up north but we're still together but it's so hard. Oh this breaks my heart. I wouldn't say my boyfriend and I are long distance but we do live like an hour or so apart from each other but I find that it, it's hard on some days but it definitely is really rewarding when you get to spend quality time with them and when you when you haven't seen them for so long, it's honestly the best feeling to like be in their company. I mean, my brother and his girlfriend are in different countries. I mean, it's definitely possible. It is a real test of trust and all that. And if you can get through it, it is the most rewarding thing. Major FOMO because I damaged my leg and now can't do reps with my friends. Oh. I don't even know what to say to this, eh? I mean, everything happens for a reason. At the best of times, it is really hard to find the reason. Honestly, I just wish you a speedy recovery. Not being able to share my faith because I'm horrible at talking to people. If you feel like in a situation where you can, then go for it. I mean, don't be afraid to speak up. I am afraid to speak up. I get afraid just sitting here right now talking to the camera. But once you start, it just kind of comes naturally. Friend issues, that is quite a broad one. I feel like, I'm not really one to talk to about this, I had friend issues and I literally ran away, like literally ran on my own two feet away from the friend. And I mean, we're fine now, like we're civil now, but <laughs> the people that I ran away to were like my best group of friends now and they are incredible. But. If you feel like you're in like a toxic relationship with friendships, don't hang around or at least talk to them and be like, yo, like this, I'm not happy with this, like say something. How do I know if my crush likes me back if he sends mixed signals? If you're that concerned about it, honestly, I would just bring it up with them. If they send you mixed signals and you don't know, then well, I wouldn't spend time overthinking it, I'd just get straight to the point and be like, yo, 
Do you like me? I'm scared to open up about my feelings because of my past with my abusive dad. Oh, that actually breaks my heart. Honestly, don't be afraid. Opening up about your feelings and just talking about them and communicating about them is, it's a hard thing to do, but it solves so many problems within itself. And it's definitely worth just being honest with yourself and others around you for even a split second. I'm pretty sure my mum doesn't like me. She's always spending time with my little brother or my big sister. Um, first of all, she brought you to this earth and I'm sure she absolutely loves you to pieces. Then again, I don't want to make this sound like I'm bagging you out or anything because I'm definitely not, but effort is like a two-way street like you need to kind of give it to get it sort of type of thing one of my friends is having an incredibly hard time right now and he went missing for a day because of mental health and i'm constantly worried about it whoa all i would say is you can't always expect to be able to help in every situation but let them know that you care about them and let them know that you're here for them because you never know kind of what's going on in other people's minds but just do what you can for them at that time and just let them know that you really do appreciate them. I really need slash want a new phone but I can't afford it. Got any ideas how to make money? If you play an instrument or anything, busking is the best thing. That's how I afforded my first phone in year nine. I busked outside the local dairy playing the guitar and singing songs and I earned over a grand and I managed to buy an iPhone 6S when it first came out and I was flexing on that so hard. But yeah, no, busking is definitely a good way of making money. What advice would you offer for a year 12 student and aiming for excellence endorsement. Make the most of resubs, make the most of resources, make the most of exemplars and talking with teachers and just trying your hardest and you will get there. How do I get through year nine with good grades? In all honesty, year nine doesn't really matter all that much because I don't think the grades even count towards anything. But make sure that you obviously are applying yourself, getting the work done, you'll be fine. My situation I'm in at the moment is my parents are separate and fighting what do I do this is hard for me to give advice on because my parents are together and they um, don't fight but I mean it's hard to know because I don't know the exact situation but if it were me just step in and be like hey I'm here and this is hurting me like hurting like, yourself and as your parents they should then be like hey this is hurting our daughter we need to be civil about it a friend is constantly taking advantage of me and then running back to apologize they are not worth your time don't mess around with that move on don't fall for their apologies apologies if we just had an angle change or something my camera died and i just spent the last 15 minutes charging it so if it dies again then this video is going to end very abruptly but let's continue with my crap advice too much stuff going on and not knowing how to get organized and deal with it. I really utilize the calendar on my laptop. Like, I know that sounds really stupid, but it just it allows you to see what's going on and when, and you can, like, pre-book yourself so that you're not, like, double booking and you can organize your time and make sure that you are spending time doing what you want to do as well as doing what you need to do. Struggling to find a job slash be accepted into one. Any advice or know any places hiring? Honestly, just keep trying and keep trying and trying. Like, honestly, you will, you will get there. Fake friends, by the way, I I love you. I love you too. And don't, don't, you don't have to deal with fake friends. You don't have to. I know it's hard to like move on as such because you have to obviously move on to somewhere else and not be by yourself. You don't have to stick with the same group of friends. Don't feel obliged to do that. If you want to move on, you can move on. Dealing with the stress of level two. Well, it kind of gets to a point where like everything's due at the same time. Once you get past that point, then it kind of like relieves your stress for a bit and then it all comes around again. But honestly, you will get through it and don't worry about it too much. Do I stay in next week and get ahead on my assignments or go out and get on it? Stay in and do your assignments, love. <laughs> if I see on your Snapchat story that you're out getting on it, oh. Feeling like I am being left out all the time. If you feel like you're being left out, say something. It may not even be that they realize that they're leaving you out. Honestly, just be like, hey, are you, like, what's the deal? Like, call them out to an extent and they'll either then start inviting you to things or they'll be like, haha, like, well, hopefully, if they're all real friends, then they will start inviting you to things. My best friend is moving to another city for uni. I am very happy for her, but also very sad. So is it the same thing, like a long distance friendship? Honestly, it's rough, but very rewarding at the same time when you do get to see them. Obviously, they need to do what's best for them, and you'll be fine. It's like you're never going to see them again, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, because time flies, and then when you do spend that time together, it'll be very precious, and you will appreciate it a lot. So I'm year 13, and I don't like school, and I'm debating on leaving, but I'm scared to leave. If you don't like school, and you don't feel like that is your thing, and you don't want to go to uni at the end of it, I'd probably talk it out with your parents, and potentially your teachers, and see, not everyone has to stay in school till the end. If it's not for you, then it's not for you, and that's fine. 
I try to do homework, but I procrastinate. I'm year 10 in NZ, so I'll have exams next year. I would just put some very good routines in place for yourself to get you ready for next year. I'm getting bullied and everybody's left me to fit in with people who hate me. That actually breaks my heart. If you're a bully and you're watching this, don't, don't be like that. Just don't. That actually breaks my heart a lot. I don't know who this is, but I want to give you a hug. <laughs> don't feel obliged to hang out with people if they are bullying you or if they hate you or whatever. Be yourself and go out and find some people who truly do appreciate you for who you are because there will be people out there. And as soon as you find them, honestly, you'll, you'll know because you'll click. I'm Brazilian and I'm going to do an exchange to New Zealand in July and I'm afraid that I won't make any friends or that people won't be nice to me. Honestly, people in New Zealand for the most part are absolutely lovely and there's such a variety of people that you are bound to find someone who you just click with and get along with really well, so... Don't, I wouldn't be worried about it at all. I don't want to hang out with friends, but I don't want to lose them either. Hashtag, I like being a loner. That is such a mood, wow. My group of friends is the weirdest thing. It's like us nine girls and we're like really tight and we love each other to pieces, but we only hang out in school. It's the weirdest concept, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, if you do or don't want to hang out with your friends, don't feel like you have to do something that you don't want to do. How to make your day better when you start it off Beep! Um, <laughs> it's only a bad five minutes we're on a day that has the potential to be amazing. I don't feel like I fit in with anyone in my school. I'm constantly trying to be careful of what I say. Don't feel that you have to be careful of what you have to say. Be yourself, as I've said, and people will come to you. You don't have to be friends with everyone in the school. You just have to have, like, someone who's there for you. Periods at 14. How old was I when I got my period? Year 9. I was, frick, year 9? I was 12, 13, 13, 12, somewhere around there. It's not the end of the world. It may feel like it's the end of the world, but it's not, and you'll be fine. I'm stuck between joining the Air Force to make my whole family proud and going to uni. Do what you want to do. Some boys are making fun of me and calling me by my username. I'd probably try and spin that around and be like, oh, like, thanks, like, you know my username, obviously you follow me, ha ha ha, sort of type thing. My friend is recovering from an eating disorder and I'm not sure how to help. I think that is something that you need to make sure that they know that you're there for them, but it's not something you you can directly help them with. I wouldn't say that I have had an eating disorder, but I have had times where I went through like a whole period of like months where I wasn't eating properly just because my anxiety was that bad. And it wasn't really anything that anyone could help me with. It was just something I had to get over and get through on my own at my own pace. I wouldn't be worried about it because it's kind of out of your control, but just as long as they know that you were there for them. Struggling to share things I've worked on because I'm scared of judgment from others. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to put your things out there. I feel like when you put things out there, it's not really a judgment thing. People will come back to you with like advice and critiques and criticism. Like criticism is all part of the learning process. So I wouldn't be scared to share your things because if you're scared to share them, then it's not going to help you grow with what you're doing, if that makes any sense. I wouldn't be worried about it. I mean, I can see who you are and I've seen your work and it is incredible. So I wouldn't be worried about it. That is all the advice that I have to give on the scenarios and situations that you guys gave me. Obviously, I'm not a counselor. I'm not a professional advice giver, as you can probably tell. This video has been a bit all over the place and I apologize for that, but hopefully you took something from this video and if for some reason I didn't answer your thing, I'm pretty sure I went through them all. But if I didn't, I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Socials are linked down below. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week. Make someone smile and I'll catch you later. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in the world, my fight is so slow. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that